previously at church. Well, next week is Youth Sunday. And I have noticed that the youth in church are starting to get to me. But they, they did when I was younger. But uh, So I have not yet decided whether there would be a Youth Sunday yet. Uh, so uh, the youth seem to be out of control. And uh, you're going to have to come next week to find out whether there's a Youth Sunday or not. So uh, it's going to be a battle between me and those rowdy teenagers. So stay tuned and be sure to be here next week to find out uh, whether that takes place or not. Can't believe Pastor Joe said that about us. The youth in this church do so many amazing things. Like vacation Bible school and church camp. We need the church's moral and financial support. we got to do something to teach them a lesson. Yes! Charlie! Do you have like ten dollars in quarters that we I can borrow to teach Pastor Joe a lesson? Yeah, I do. Be careful with it, it's my life savings. Okay. For a car ride? Car ride? I'm trying to sleep, man. No. I'll be your best friend. <sighs> okay. Yay. Let's go. So where are we going, Al? Let's drive around a bit. It's nice outside. Kind of creepy. Okay. Oh, um. Have you guys seen Pastor Joe? No. Hey, Drew. Does your dad still have that wood chipper? Yeah, I think he does. What do you guys need a wood chipper for? Don't worry about it, Charlie! Pastor Joe, I need you to read this. Wait a second. What? Pastor Joe isn't in here. Wait, what are you doing? What? What? Who am I driving? Dear Church, I have been asked to read this letter. As you can see, I have been abducted. I have not been hurt up to this point. If you want to see me again, you will need to give a special offering this morning designated to youth camping and the youth mission trip. The youth have requested that you give more than your usual quarter. This money will be used to provide scholarships to youth for camp and to help with the costs related to the youth mission trip to Pittsburgh this summer. I am sorry for what I said about the fantastic young people in our youth group. Will the church raise enough money to save Pastor Joe? Is Al ever going to get a haircut? And how many people can we fit in this guy's trunk? These questions and more will be answered on Youth Sunday. As you all know, the youth are surrounding you as we speak. As some of you know, the youth love to participate in home lines at camp. As we, have, as we have limited space and time, we are going to do something similar. We are going to do a pew hug line. Receive a hug from one of the youth at the end of the pew, and then pass it to your neighbor. Now, as not to rock the boat too much, as soon as you are done with the pew hug line, we would like to invite you all to greet Jesus and wave to the back window, as we normally do, and then greet everybody afterwards. Laura tries his best to be positive example. She is important in her actions and 
Goofus does what Goofus wants. I mean, he's only a team. Who cares? <laughs> he's doing fine until a face full of wind slaps him back to normality. He, he freezes, loses focus, and starts going under, screaming, Jesus, grab me. <laughs> he can't stop coming up with their own variation of, you are the real thing. The Son of God, you are him.
Dear Jesus, please watch over our service. Let it not to run too long or too short. Let everyone get our jokes and let us prove our points and prove that Pastor Joe will, that we are not out of control. And help us return Joe quickly and safely. Amen. <laughs> We pass on our support. We give you our respect. We pass. 